Hey guys, what's going on? It's Abs here, and welcome to another Call of Duty Ghost 1v1 Live. Facing up against Vatif here. And I'm currently 5 0 on UMG. Well, actually, I believe I should be a higher record. Let me double check that. I have a dispute I'm waiting on, and that's it. So I should, I'm, I'm 6 0 actually on UMG. And we're going for a little Rose 50 right now. I had a match against a really good guy uh, right before now, but he wanted to cancel, so. I decided to like, cancel, you know. It would have been a good, definitely a good match because dude was like 23 and 25 and 3 or something like that. But, you know, I decided, you know what, you know, I don't even want to bother taking the risk of losing that match. So let's go ahead and just skip past it and keep on our little uh, UMG stomping rampage that we're on today. And as you can see, I took the muzzle break off my vector right here. I'm kind of testing out just to see how, you know, the foregrip really affects it in long range. Because I feel like long range. Yeah, I'm not even really utilizing that um, muzzle brake, so we're going to find out. From this spot right here, I'm seeing if he pushed in the middle or pushed out of red. Not doing either uh, right now. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to go underground here. And I'm not entirely sure where this guy could be. He could be sitting really anywhere back at the moment. I always check this little spot now. Yeah, there wasn't much I could do there. He was pretty much, it seemed like he was waiting for me. Oh, he was already turned. Wow. Who would have felt that? The moment that I pop, right before I break the gate, he already turns around. He just has a hunch that maybe I'm going to be there, you know? Oh, well. You know, what can you do sometimes? I'm shocked at how lucky he got with that kind of timing, but... You never know. Oh shit. Okay, almost choked that. Almost choked that. I started climbing up the planks, which is extremely annoying when I do that. But I had a nice head glitch to work on here. And I ended up winning that. Um, I didn't exactly expect him to run this way, mostly because why would you? I have a head glitch. I expected him to run around, but that's not what he did. But this time I'm going to push right to red this time. I'm going to see what we can work with here. I do have hosts, so I hopefully won't get melted too bad. Right. So he's not here. And he runs around me. Alright. I don't like when I, I face up against people that, you know, do stuff like this, because it's so confusing on what you're doing. There's no way you saw me. <sighs> oh, well. Like, I don't know how he saw me, because I was looking at the cross while I was crossing to make sure he didn't see me like that. But he did somehow. Oh, well. We just got to slow it down here. It makes some better plays, so we don't get into a little bit of a, uh, a deficit here early on in the game. Look at look at me eat up eat up that stone. So we know where he sent me from at least. All right, so I'm just gonna chill out. Time's almost up. That's gonna be my little plan. Right now I'm watching B cross and I'm also trying to cover if he pushes uh, into back red. And if he does plant A, I should still be in a relatively good position to cover that. He will be able to get the bottom down though, obviously I won't be able to hear it from back here. It's always helpful when you're uh, playing. And as I say that, he pops up. But I was going to say, uh, it's always helpful when you're playing dubs and you get into a situation like this. And basically, you can say, hey, teammate, can you go ahead and watch that B cross for me? And literally, all you got to do is stare at um, where the guy popped out right there. So uh, whenever you get in a situation like that, always ask your teammate if he can watch you know, part of the screen for you. Because then it allows you to focus on one part of the screen, which 
Well, if he does pop out there, that gives you a huge increased chance of you winning that gunfight. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, push right down middle here. Whoa! Look at that melt. All right, that's it. I'm I'm gonna just slide into this guy. This is unbelievable. Look how quickly I die. Look at that. He gets one hit marker. Oh my god. And he has the nerve to spray my body. He gets instantly red. N none of my. Oh my god. All right, let's get this guy. This guy's starting to aggravate me here. I'm not a huge fan of that. Of being aggravated. Switch my guns. Just so I don't get... Hopefully I can melt him like that. That'd be fun. I saw this guy. I think he... I'm not sure what he's... he's... Alright. There we go. We just had to pinch that guy, and we saw where it went. I figured he jumped up on the uh, train, and then we saw him run over there. And this dude was kind of playing pretty reckless. He wasn't really checking that many spots. He was just kind of running across. And that's what won me that run there. Search and destroy. Right, so I'm going to leave this Hemtar out, because I want to be ready for those long-range gunfights, because he's got an Hemtar as well, so we'll be pretty even for the most part. Priest on stuff. Holy crap. Get out of here, baby. Let's go. This guy's gonna spray bodies. I'm gonna spray all over the place. Look at that. Literally right where my screen was positioned at. Switching sides. I will take it. Let's go. Search and destroy. Defend the objective. All right. What to do? What to do? Let's go underground this time. Since last time, this dude kind of played slow. So I'm hoping this dude will play slow again, and that will give me the opportunity to shoot him in the back right here. And I always check a bomb to see if he. Uh, is planning while I'm up here, because some people push right across and go right for that plant. Time's almost up. All right. Now I'm making noise. All right. Well, I'm assuming this guy's on my side. Wouldn't make much sense for him to still be on mine. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm watching the B cross at the same time. I'm also seeing if he can cross that. Oh. There we, there we go. Wipe him out. Let's go. This dude randomly decided that he was going to tease the bomb and not actually plant. But I was right. In perfect position to cover that anyway. And we pretty much two shot him in the face with a Ramtar. Feels good to two shot him. It really does. So, alright boys. We need one more round to clean this guy up. This dude was giving me a little bit of trouble early on. And, uh... Acting a little out of turn, I guess you could say. He was spraying bodies and stuff. And I'm not too fond of that, but... Right now, I'm going to push right out of red. Or not red, white. Alright, so right now, I'm just going to plant right here in the corner, and I can pretty much do laps and really go wherever I please. I'm just going to do a little lap around here. Ooh, I just found a new little spot. Haha, -ha, I like it. Look at this, guys. 
Oh shit, he saw me. I like this. Wow. I knew you could see it from me. I didn't know you could see it this far back. See ya, pal. You better leave the game. Spraying bodies. Ha! Well, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. We discovered a new spot at the end. Wow. You know, that was kind of, you know, all of a sudden, I normally don't run a lap underground. I was just kind of mixing it up because... You know, why not, you know? So that's what I was doing, and then all of a sudden, wow. You know, you can just climb up on that train and check the bomb, and you can hide behind it. That's a pretty good spot. I like what I'm seeing. You know, maybe a uh, another updated plant spot video could co be coming out in the future. You know, with all these new spots, I'm finding out. But if you guys enjoy, make sure to like the video. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're coming out of here today, make sure to subscribe. Click the button right below this video. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys in the next one.